welcome. It's been a very special night here on Los Al TV. It's the fifth annual We Care from the Heart celebration. Hi, I'm Larry Strother. I'm here with John Underwood, and we are covering the We Care event. It's one of the most popular events here in Los Alamitos. It uh, raises funds for We Care, a great organization, and it's been going on tonight, and they're coming near the close of it, but we've had a lot of fun here tonight, John. Oh, Larry, you know, what really impresses me about uh, this evening and, and this organization is the fact that this event, this wonderful event, uh, very professionally put on, I might say, is done with almost entirely volunteer effort. All the heavy lifting are people who've just given of themselves and given and given for this night, and it shows. It's been like that from the very beginning. This event started five years ago. Volunteers who got together in, at a home in Rossmore, and we have the people here who are going to tell you a little bit about that. So. We talked to him a little earlier, so right now, let's go, and we're going to talk to Marty Thompson, who's the founder of We Care, and Erica Ibbotson-White, who is uh, the chair of this event. So let's, let's check out that tape right now. We are back at the We Care 5th Annual From the Heart Celebration, and with me is the founder and executive director of We Care, Marty Thompson, and Erica Ibbotson-White who has been the chair of this event for the last five years. And Erica, I'm going to get to you in a second, okay? Of course. Of course. We're going to start with Marty. Now, Marty, you've been around doing this since 1989, We Care. We Care has been going since 1989, yes. Tell me why you started it and why here. Well, we started it uh, basically as a small food pantry in order to help the churches, help people who were coming to them for food and, and uh, in need. And we've evolved over the last... 20 years into an agency that uh, tries to keep people safely housed, keep them from becoming homeless, uh, and by providing financial assistance and, and food and, and other necessities of life. Our goal is to keep the community safely housed. Now, I'd, I had my clipper with me a few seconds ago. I didn't bring it with me, but you have a little graphic that says, where your money went last year. Why don't you explain to us what you did with your money last year for We Care? Last year what we did uh, was we, uh, and I don't have the statistical data, my case manager is the one is keeper of all the stat, uh, stats, but last year what we did was uh, helped people within the community who uh, had been experiencing problems with the economic downturn and uh, maybe lost their jobs or became underemployed to be able to to pay their mortgages, pay their rent, pay their utilities, and keep their homes rather than becoming the homeless statistic that, that all of us know is, is out there today. I know one of the things you're most proud of is that most of the money, a very high percentage of the money, goes to the program. It does not go to administrative costs. Exactly. Our administrative to, uh, to program ratio is about 18%, which is extremely low. And we're very proud of that because uh, the community uh, donates to us and gives to us with the idea that uh, they want to do some good for their neighbors. And we want to make sure we're good stewards of that money. So we make sure that our expenses are low and we, we take all of the money we get that we can and give it out to the community. Now, that really low ratio of expenses almost caused you a problem about five years ago when you didn't have money to take care of your rent and stuff. And enter Erica and a whole group of people. So tell us how you got involved with, or, excuse me, with We Care. With I, we care. I almost said the wrong word there. With We Care. <laughs> with we Care, yeah. We Care, yes. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Um, we Care came about for me um, when I heard some one of my friends mention that one of the nonprofit organizations within the Los Alamitos area of which I live uh, was going to close their doors. Um, and I didn't know much about We Care and I wanted to be a part of the We Care. And so I went over and I talked to Marty over there and I said, so what's going on? And she goes, we have to close our doors. We just don't have enough funding. And I said, well, you know what? You know, I, I, I didn't know anything about you. And she goes, no, she goes, because we haven't had the financial funding to take care and to market and to establish our organization throughout the communities of which we take care of. And I said, well, okay. So we talked about the particulars and I said, so what is it that you need? And she goes, we need money or otherwise we're gonna close our doors. And so I said, you know what, give me four months and I'll see what I can do. So within four months, I called my friends and I called um, the community and I said, we need to raise some money for We Care. This is the, we before you knew it, we had um, a committee. We had a private um, owner of a home who just moved in, which happened to be Bob and Debbie Crumby. And they offered their home that they just moved into after four months and they moved out all of the furniture. We had the fundraiser there and that's where it all started. 
I know I, I told this before, I happened to be away at a soccer tournament that night, and I got a text saying, where are you? You are missing the best party in the area. And so right away from the very beginning, the community has responded to this event. And I, I know a lot of people who are involved with this, and you did get some dynamos who worked for you. So, Absolutely. And, you know, if it wasn't for my committee members, if it wasn't for Marty and Rob, I promised Marty five years ago that I would be by her side. And, and that's what it's all about. You know, we, we help thy neighbor and we help one another no matter what. And so that's where we are. And it's, it's been a wonderful um, experience through this last five years. Well, a lot of the people that Erica got involved like I said, I, I mentioned a second ago, I know them, but I know that they don't get involved with things that they don't believe in. So you must have done a great job. That's something that they really believe passionately about because they put a lot of, people don't realize the amount of hours that goes into putting on an event like this. Incredible amount of hours. And we feel blessed because it's uh, one of those things where, you know, five years ago, we were the best kept secret in, in Los Alamitos. Um, we worked quietly with families and, and there wasn't a lot of, of hoopla. And I, you know, I'm just grateful that all of these people would come together and I still have to pinch myself to think that people would, would want to step up and do this uh, for, for an agency that I'm so passionate about and a, and a, and a, and a nonprofit that I'm so passionate about. And it, to me, it's like I have to pinch myself when I wake up in the morning to even believe that this has all happened, and I'm just so proud. Did you, the, when Erica said it the first time, did you believe she could pull it off? Oh, yeah. I had no doubt. I know these women. I've, I have he had heard about Erica. I knew her friends, and I knew these were some pretty powerful people, some people who really, if they say they're going to do it, they get the job done. The nice part about this is, is it's completely off my plate. They walk in, they take care of everything. People say, oh, I'll take care of that, don't worry about it, and they walk away. And, and you know, how often, you know, you have a community that really pulls together that says, you know, we're gonna do this, we'll take care of it, don't worry about it. Now, I, I, I had no doubts when she walked in the door, I thanked my lucky stars, gave a, a prayer to God, and said, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's been uphill, or no, it's been up ever since. <laughs> All right, Erica, you've been involved with this now for five years. You're, you're stepping away, but you're not stepping away, right? That's right. You know, um, I'm, I'm proud of where Marty and Rob are and where We Care is at um, right now after five years. You know, we got them trademarked. We got them marketed. We got them situated. Um, and I'm very proud of the accomplishments that We Care and Marty and Rob have been able to provide over the, over the years. You know, the whole point of We Care is to prevent homelessness. And that's exactly what's been happening. And this uh, nonprofit has blossomed and it's, it's just grown to, to where it's at today. And I'm, I'm very confident, though I may be stepping down as chair, I'm not stepping down in my beliefs of what this organization is all about. I'm... I believe in Marty. Marty has the hard work, and Rob uh, Lowenberg have the hard work here at WeCare for me and for my wonderful committee and for this wonderful community and communities. It's just a matter of pulling together and resourcing what, what it is that we're all about within this community. All right, now, obviously, the point of the evening is to raise money, but you don't have to be here to raise money. If people at home want to help out WeCare, what do they do? Well, we have a website, uh, it's uh, wecarelosalamitos.org, with a Donate Now button. Um, that, that works just fine. They can walk in the door with, uh, with a check. Uh, any, any way that they want to do it, send it in the mail. We take no, no donation is too small, um, and, and, and no opportunity is too small. If somebody wants to come in and see what we do and talk to me, our door is always open. I love to give the nickel tour. I love to sit down and I'm passionate about the program. I'll talk to anybody who wants to hear about We Care. I invite anybody who wants to to uh, give us a call and come in and see us, see what we do. All right. Well, the evening is still young. you got a lot of work ahead of you, but you're like kind of calm right now, so apparently it's going very, very well. And it's a lot of fun, and you know it, it's just been a, such a great pleasure to work with um, Marty Thompson, the director of We Care, and also Rob Lowenberg, and to know that they have really aspired over the years, and I'm very, very grateful to have worked with them, and also work with the community, a lot of community members of which I've never worked with before, and those friends that 
have always been there. But you know what? It's a wonderful thing. All right. Well, I want to let you guys go off and enjoy yourselves. We're going to be back with more from the We Care 5th Annual From the Heart Celebration. All right. Thanks. Thanks for joining us so far. I didn't get a chance to say thank you to Channel 3 for stepping out here for us. You just did. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. All right. You're welcome.